Alrighty, it is Friday morning before the Columbus War, and I am um, at my first thrift store. I will be hitting about six thrift stores in the Columbus area, and I'm going to document my results, so wish me luck. And uh, this is Coop 772 Ghost Thrifting. Okay, back from the first one, um, and I'll show you what I found. Prices were not um, as reasonable as I was hoping. This is a broken Maverick. I didn't even test it because it was a first-gen Maverick, and I was excited to find it. That was $2.99, overpriced in my opinion, but still bought it. A first gen, I'm sorry, a normal uh, Maverick, which was left prime. Awesome. And I also was lucky enough to get a marble in my barrel. So yay kids who play in the thrift store section. And I also found a recon um, with a yellow magazine for $1.99. There was a deploy there, um, which I saw last week, but I didn't want to buy because they wanted like $8.99 for it, which is really high for a, um, one of those. If it was like three bucks I would have bought it just to set it on fire like my Vulcan video but I didn't want to spend eight dollars on that. Um, and this also has a yellow mag if I didn't say that which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah I do leave Nerf guns at the stores every once in a while. There's also a ball blaster in one of those electronic Tommy 20 ones for like nine dollars. This thrift store has been raising their prices recently so whatever. Um, but three blasters for this load. Um, now I'm moving to my next thrift store. Just got out of thrift store number two, which was a Goodwill, and I'm pretty psyched with my find. Found a Lightning Blitz, which is a blaster that will sell for 15 to 35 US dollars. However, I believe I'll be keeping that for a little while. Um, and I got that for $1.29. It was labeled in crown. There was also a buzz saw at this location, that little ball blaster with the, the gear you wind up by hand, but I decided to leave that one for the 99 cents since I don't use the ball blasters and some other kid might buy it. So that's thrift store number two, moving on to three. Okay, that was thrift store three. I am again satisfied for the drive, um, although the lightning blitz did justify all of my fuel cost and time, so even if I miss out on the next three, I don't really care. Anyways, I got a tech target for, what is this, 90 cents, um, and two Mavericks, one of which did not have a slide, but I figure 90 cents for a new turret would be nice. Um, I'm getting a bunch of Mavericks and I plan to actually acquire more over the next thrift stores so I might make a, 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 a Maverick with one of those rotating turrets with multiple cylinders or a bunch of drop clips. So pretty good for uh, thrift store number three. This thrift store actually had an entire room dedicated purely for uh, toys and then it had a nice gun section. I'm sorry, like a model gun which had squirt guns, um, other little fake guns and nerf guns. And I actually found a tech target away in the Barbie doll section. Um, I wasn't over there for any other reason, <laughs> just glancing. Um, and because I always scan the shelves because kids typically pick up stuff and set it down somewhere else that's not in the Nerf gun section. So if you go thrifting, check that out and you might find a tech target like I did. You gotta scan the entire toy section. It's kind of funny, at the last place I actually saw the buzzsaw from across the entire Nerf place and then the lightning blitz barrels just kind of popped. I've been playing with Nerf guns for years now. It's probably unhealthy that I recognize a Nerf gun from that far away and I can determine the model from also pretty far away, but I'm pretty happy. Um, scavenged those three from that store, so I'm moving on to number four. Made an unscheduled visit um, to a thrift store that was not on my list. It was across the street from one of them, and I have to say it was incredibly shady. Uh, it was a piece of crap uh, store, terribly unorganized. Their toy section was very small, so I just kind of hustled in and out because I felt incredibly uncomfortable for my own safety in this place. Um, just thought I'd note um, that was a non- successful attempt though. Um, I'm in, in front of this next one so I'll go in and check in. Just exited what was at thrift store number four or four on the list five officially visited for today and struck out. This one is very close to the Ohio State campus which has a pretty active uh, humans versus zombies and Zola and some of his friends are from the NIC. Um, so I wasn't expecting much from this place. Um, probably has constant pickers coming in um, but I had to check it off my list because it's fairly close to my next one, uh, which I'm off to now. So that's strike two, and I've successfully hit three. Well, I actually just got out of thrift store number six because thrift store number five was actually a pickup point um, for Goodwill rather than an actual thrift store. And I just confirmed it again on my phone that on Goodwill's website it is labeled as a retail store and not a drop-off point. The drop-off point is a smaller square footage area just to donate stuff. You don't actually get to buy stuff. Then they distribute it to other stores out of their area. So I'm kind of pissed. That was a good bit out of my way. I wasted about 20 minutes, um, but whatever. And I just left thrift store number six, and um, I didn't actually find anything there. I found an AeroStorm here a few years ago, uh, but they completely reworked their toy section so it's gone and scattered all over their store. There's kind of toys everywhere, but it's a bunch of new-in-box stuff, so... They didn't really have anywhere to look for Nerf guns, and I, I did look, but 
came up empty. So the things I've already showed you is it for today. I'm heading home. That concludes thrift store hunting number one. I might be making more videos depending on the feedback from this. I know it's just me saying, hey, look what I got, but um, yeah. But that's it. Um, that was kind of an anticlimactic ending because it didn't even have a toy section. So I just kind of walked in and uh, yeah, so that was short, but whatever. So that's the end of the video. I'm pretty happy with what I got. It definitely justified the entire t um, trip. Just the profit margin on the Lightning Blitz alone is enough to cover fuel and even a good hourly wage uh, <laughs> for hunting, which is fun and entertaining, although driving in this area is kind of shit, but whatever. Um, so that's the conclusion of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment in the section below whether or not you enjoyed this video or you just don't want me to shoot these ever again.